Hi, and welcome to FedMail. Thank you for joining us on this Friday afternoon. Shabbat Shalom to you, and welcome to the month of March. Hopefully this uh, month will bring uh, good news for us, for global jewelry and for uh, Israel and for our own community. Um, Israel this week had a difficult, uh, it was a difficult week. Uh, rockets were fired into the north of the country on a number of occasions from Hezbollah forces located both in uh, Syria and in uh, Lebanon, Iran had uh, elections, although they're mentioning by experts have mentioned that it's uh, between two very hard extreme extremist hardline factions. So there wouldn't be much of a change in any sort of foreign policy or policies that relates to Israel. Um, Israel uh, continued to have ceasefire negotiations or talks to release the hostages. Each day, it seems like we have conflicting information back and forth on that. And then on Thursday, there was terrible news of a uh, stampede during a, um, a convoy bringing humanitarian aid into Gaza, and the international community is investigating that and the IDF's role in it. So all of this continues to be incredibly complicated and difficult, and there's a lot of suffering, and um, it's, it's just a, a very bad situation. And then there was a terror attack uh, that left uh, two Israelis dead earlier in the week as well. Um, so we certainly are watching all of that news with a, a great deal of concern. Um, in our own community, we brought Congressman Jim McGovern to Beth Israel for a community-wide uh, conversation on Monday evening. And uh, we talked about a lot, but we didn't really get, there was uh, so much to talk about and just not enough time. So there was a lot more that we could have continued to discuss. I think th that program could have gone a number of hours longer. Uh, but we're thankful to the congressman for coming out and hearing our concerns and for all of the community members who showed up to that. Uh, we also had Rabbi Ron Fish speaking in the community about anti-Semitism. He spoke at Clark University, and uh, that was um, on Thursday evening. Good, good turnout for that as well. Coming up this week on, first of all, we'll talk about the weekend. On the 3rd, um, we have a... Night with the Railers. Uh, I have to read my notes here because we have a lot going on and I can't always remember all of it off the top of my head. The Railers, our local uh, hockey team playing at the DCU Center, March 3rd. Everyone's invited to that. We also have a uh, Shabbat program for Shabbat across Central Mass taking place on the 3rd. We have a holabake and a program with uh, Joseph Fetterman of the AP talking about Israel and the region on the 6th. On the 4th, this is an important one, we have an information session to talk about our solidarity mission coming up in May. You don't want to miss that. So if you're interested in going to Israel, and you should be, we want to see you there for that. Uh, also this weekend is the JCC's Glow Party. We're excited for that program. Um, and last but not least, take a look at the copy of The Star, our own new local Jewish newspaper. We've worked hard on it, and you can find um, find a digital copy available here. And we've uh, brought copies to all of our local Jewish institutions. So stop by the JCC or Eisenberg Jewish Healthcare Center, um, your congregation, of course. Uh, copies are available pretty much everywhere. So um, pick it up, have a look, let us know what you think. Thank you for supporting Jewish life in Central Mass and around the world. As I mentioned in the last Fed Mail, we. Um, we're interested to know if you've given to uh, um, is Jewish organizations working in Israel through the last several months since uh, October 7th. And we want to be able to report that back to Jewish federations of North America. So look out for an email from us in, um, well, in the near future, asking you to give us information on uh, what gifts have been made to which organizations, because all of that is very important to record and um, helps, uh, certainly helps in our efforts to um, help alleviate the crisis that Israel is facing. I think as I mentioned it uh, recently, the Israeli GDP in the fourth quarter, uh, the economy contracted by something like 20%, which is just astronomical. So we wanna do all we can to um, help our friends and family members in Israel. Take care, Shabbat Shalom, and thank you very much. Bye-bye.